Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Trade Talk podcast. U.S. inflation eased, but core CPI remained at last month's level, favoring another hike of 25 basis points in the coming policy meeting. The dollar index is below the level of 102, which will reduce outflows from emerging markets. FIH turned positive on Wednesday, and we saw the buying somewhere close to 900 crores from FIS. Uh, for Indian equities. Uh, Also, on the FNO side, they have covered their short positions and they are consistently reducing index futures shorts as well as they are reducing their uh, positions on the call writing side, which is actually uh, supporting to the market. And uh, we saw one more uh, spike in yesterday's trading session. The market managed to close above the levels of 17,800 which is positive it's a big achievement for the market because whenever the market has crossed this level it has established a series of higher top higher bottom Uh, by crossing the level of 17,800 now the next level to watch out for would be 17,950 and in the best case scenario 18,150 so whenever the market has broken this level of 17,800 we saw the markets moving to the levels of 17,950, 940 on the minimum side. But if we see the markets are dropping to the levels of 17,600 or 625, then there we should be a buyer in the market uh, or on the Nifty. Uh, for the day, the important level is 17,700. So till the markets are not breaking previous days low, we are going to see upward activity in the market. And in that particular case, we need to be a stock specific buyer. Uh, 17,700 for the day is important level. Below that, the chances of hitting 17,600 would turn high. But there we should be buyer. But on a closing basis, if we see the markets are closing below the mark of 17,600, then in that case, we need to be careful because then the correction may extend. Uh, While looking at the overall uh, trading pattern of the market, we are of the view that we are heading for the higher levels, but around 17,950-930, we need to be careful. We should look for taking some profit on long positions. Uh, We like uh, commodities because there we are seeing some uh, upward activity, uh, especially some steel stocks. Also, we are going to focus on oil and gas companies in that we like Reliance Industries and few BFSI companies. For the IT, again, we need to be careful because uh, uh, Infosys is going to announce its quarterly number. TCS has already reported its number. So, we need to see that how actually the market reacts to the same because uh, the overall guidance is as per expectations. Uh, And uh, also, the uh, HDFC is also going to announce its quarterly number. So, I think that will keep the market in a range uh, but with a positive bias. That's all from my side. With this, I am ending today's morning podcast. Thank you. Have a great day to all of you.